this is a 500 gallon steel septic tank. This is the inlet with a semicircle baffle. This is the outlet with a semicircle baffle that was deteriorating on the bottom down here. And that's a critical part of the baffle. So I broke it in half and bent it over. And I'm gonna install a, a pipe baffle. This is an inexpensive way to uh, repair this tank. It's going to need replacement sometime, but uh, this is going to buy some years. If you'll notice, this pipe is flattened out on the bottom. Um, presents somewhat of a problem to tie into. Uh, fortunately, I brought an assortment of adapters. So what I'm going to do is install this bad boy right inside. Right inside here. And... Uh, make the seal connection with polyurethane gap filler that should seal it up and then i'll have a pipe a 90 degree elbow let's see here's one 90 degree elbow right here and a vertical pipe extending down about 16 inches and that will function as my baffle okay i'm continuing the repair of this 500 gallon steel septic tank there are probably not many in existence out there, but this is one of them. And the baffle broke off as I was explaining earlier. So what I'm gonna do now is just install a plastic baffle, plastic pipe PVC baffle. With this uh, fitting that I have here that slips very well right into the existing pipe. Uh, the existing pipe is out of round, so that's a problem, but this, this fits in just right it could go on the outside and excavate that but uh, that could open up a can of worms so i'm just going to proceed with this method and this is sewer pipe pvc glue does not work that well with this pipe so i'm using the old standby spray foam in a can this half product happens to be made by great stuff and it's sticky as hell and it will work as an adhesive and it will fill up the voids that are uh, between this pipe and uh, the fitting I'm gonna install. So here we go, hope you can see that. Okay, so I've got a little stub of pipe that I'm going to use as a connector between this fitting and the elbow. Have a little bit of spray foam in there, not much, tiny little bit. Put a little bit more in. Don't want much. Okay, this fitting is going in here, just a nipple. Like the names of all these pipe fittings, they're always so subjective. Suggestive, not subjective. Of body parts. Okay, put some spray foam in there to act as adhesive. Not gonna be a lot. Just a little, I got some dirt in there. I'm gonna wipe that out. Okay, small amount. all we really need so I have this established this is going inside the existing pipe and then I need the vertical extension of my baffle so I want to glue that as well spray foam is acting as an adhesive don't need a lot don't want it on the inside of the pipe just the outside Stick this into my elbow, spin it around. Okay, that's my baffle, my whole made baffle. Now, I'm gonna insert it into the existing pipe. Put a bead of foam around the outside. So I'll have a thicker bead right here to fill any larger voids that are there. Okay, here we go, it's gonna be a tight fit. Here we go.
Got some of that spray foam on my hands. It's really sticky. Okay, so that's our replacement baffle. And that should provide years of surface. And the idea is the sludge is on top and the liquid effluent uh, can only exit the pipe by going down underneath the baffle, the bottom of the baffle, in, then out. The sludge and foam and crud tends to lay right on the surface or right on the bottom. By having this baffle exit right here, you're only getting a liquid going out to your leach field, which is what you want. If you have solids that go out to your leach field, which happen when your baffle um, fails, then that clogs up your leach field and then you have to spend the money to build a new leach field and that's expensive. So there we go.